but this is Big Chino. You're watching Tropical Jams. Now, on this segment, we're going to go to the President's Initiative for Child Obesity, and it's going to be held at UCLA. And we had guests like uh, Heinz Ward, Troy Polamalu, um, Marcus McNeil from the Chargers. Uh, they came out and talked to the kids about child obesity, and uh, it's it's a really nice program that they did. And uh, we have our correspondent, uh, Mia Lani Love. She's going to be talking to some of the uh, guest speakers like Troy Polamalu and Heinz Ward. And, you know, this, this whole day is going to be a very uh, special day to talk about kids, about child obesity, you know. And uh, these days, you know, kids play a lot of computer games. They watch TV a lot, and uh, they're not spending time out there, you know, exercising or having fun. You know, just like kids used to do back in the days, you know. We used to play with marbles and play with rocks back in the days. You know, we got to go back to them days, man, because, uh, you know, the kids these days are just uh, staying too close to the tube and watch, you know, are too much on the computer. So let's try to pay attention to this show because you're going to learn a lot for all you parents out there. You know, keep an eye on your kids, man. This is a child obesity. I'm trying to watch mine, so, you know. So, hope you all like this show. Check it out. Okay, okay. Now, now you get what you came for. The person I want to bring up to the stage is actually a fellow commissioner on President Obama's advisory commission. He, he also happens to be a pretty good dancer, and by the way, he was a Super Bowl MVP. Man, you can give it up, you can give it up. Now, I feel like I, I have, I've been getting a lot of credit for today, when really, actually, the credit should go to this man. Because what I did was I reached out to him, I wrote an email, I said, hey, Heinz, uh, we, this is the Pacific Islander community. I gave him some statistics, and, and I said, would you, would you come out and, and, and help me uh, bring my community together and he didn't even blink he said it's done it's done um, and, and so uh, he's been a faithful partner he's been an amazing amazing commissioner and he's been a really good dancer if you guys aren't watching TV on Monday nights you should be watching Dancing with the Stars don't TiVo it and watch it later because then you can't vote you gotta vote okay because my man's gotta stay on there and, 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 and last week he had this really handsome Samoan man sitting in the audience for him but real, honestly, without further ado, I want to bring to you Pittsburgh Steeler, Heinz Ward. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Troy was teaching me some words back there, so I, wanna, I don't want to disrespect anybody, but let me see if I can say this right. Talofa Lava, is that right? Hello. Did I say that right? <laughs> it wasn't. Troy didn't, uh, he didn't like that, but uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. But now, first of all, I want to introduce myself and just tell everybody, um, I'm Heinz Ward, I'm 86 of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and uh, I'm very proud. Oh, thank you. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know what, I didn't know, I, wow. I'm so proud to be representing um, President Obama Advisory Committee for Asian American Pacific Islanders. And it's a big honor for me to co-host this great event today. Childhood obesity, I mean, that's what this whole event is all about. And uh, there's some alarming statistics. One out of every five Pacific Islanders youth is obese. And it's one of the highest percentages of all racial groups in the United States. And to see all these people, you know, uh, me, I'm real big on being fit. You know, I love to eat just as much as anybody out there. I eat the chicken and rice, the kimchi, I eat it all, you know. But at the same time, it's still, um, it, it's, a, it's very alarming to me because I'm all about health and, and wellness. And something as a child, uh, I remember growing up, my mother, she could never find me because I was always outside playing. But now it's a challenge for these youth today because of the iPad, the, the Xbox, the PlayStation. You know, it's kind of hard to get these kids out and, and, and being active out in our community. So I really want to stress to you parents, really just to help the youth, you know, kick them outside, let them go outside, run around, play around. Um, because it's, it's really, uh, that's how you get in shape as a child. Uh, I was kind of the little boy that, that was kind of undersized. I really, my mom was worried about me getting hurt and playing football, so I didn't really sign up. But every time she came out and, and tried to find me, uh, I was playing throw up football, tackle in the, in the apartment neighborhood. That's kind of where I learned all my skills and everything. But really, you know, uh, for kids, you know, 
I know you guys love the PlayStation, the Xbox, and stuff like that, but uh, how many of you guys ever want to grow up and be like uh, Troy right here, make it to the NFL? See all of my hands? Yeah. Even girls, too. You can play football as well. <laughs> But, you know, Troy was very disciplined. I think, you know, Marcus, myself, and Troy, we all had that discipline in us to go outside and to be the best players we can be. But we were very active as a, you know, as an early age as far as, you know, I played basketball, baseball, football, hide and seek, tag, whatever you want. I was always outside. So I really want to stress to you guys really just to get outside and at least play, even if it were an hour or two, just to go outside and have fun and enjoy being a kid. But uh, enough about that, you know. Uh, I think you guys are, are more excited because uh, Troy, he's meant so much uh, to the Pacific guy in the community around here. And I think it was a great honor. And I'm thankful to be his teammate and as a friend. He brought his whole family, um, you know, for him taking his time out of here just to, to voice his opinion to you guys. So I want to introduce Troy. I know he really don't like talking much, but uh, he'll keep it short and sweet for you guys. So here, Troy Palomalu. Well, you know, I know Heinz is a really good dancer, but he's not an official dancer until he dances the Taolunga, right? Can we get a Fauma for that? Now I realize the importance of bodily health, but not to diminish the importance of exercise and, um, and being active and, and working out and whatnot. What I want to talk about was the spiritual health, something that I think is more important. Now, Asians and Pacific Islanders are, are, are cultures that are deeply rooted in, in virtues of joy, of, of humility, of love, of compassion. Um, I think as ambassadors of our countries, whether you're from Tonga, whether you're from Samoa, Hawaii, Guam, I think as ambassadors of our cultures, of, of, of each one of our native cultures, it's, it's important for us to to, to be examples to to because you know all of us have have come from from different islands and it's important for us to be example of these virtues to everybody else. Um, I think that could be our gift, our biggest gift as islanders um, to Americans or to African Americans or to anybody else. I just want to. That's just something that's deep on my heart. Thank you, uh, Heinz, for having me out here today and Fafte uh, love. So hi, um, this is Mia. I'm here with Tropical Tropical Jams, and we have Troy Palomalu with us today. So Troy, um, how are you liking this conference today? Oh, it's very nice. It's really nice. Um, what kind of advice do you have for our young Pacific Islanders, mainly the Samoan community? Well, my message to them earlier was that I think first and foremost, it's uh, you know not to diminish the importance of exercise. Is the reason why we're here in child, childhood obesity, but the first to, to first reattach ourselves to what our culture is really about: the virtues of humility, of love, of compassion, and all these producing the ultimate outcome is a really joyful life. Um, I think if we, if we can bring that, because we were all raised with these, and if we can if we can exercise these virtues and, and affect people around us, you know that aren't that that didn't grow up with these virtues, I think that's uh, for the most part the most important thing is to, to live a virtuous life, and then after that, you know, then live a healthy and happy life. But ultimately, our our, our happiness and joy will come from the exercise of our virtues and our spiritual health. Thank you. Um, one final question. Do you have any tips for all of our community watching us right now? Do you have any tips for our younger generation that they can take with them and probably try to instill in themselves? Well, as far as the diet is concerned, you know, it's tough, it's tough to eat, eat healthy, you know, when the cheapest way to go about it is, is just buying a, you know, a happy meal or something like that, which is very unhealthy. Um, you know, our, our cultures are, are deeply rooted in farmers and agriculturalists, you know, people that grew, that fish, that grew, that grew their own crops, grew their own galo, grew their own mangoes, pineapples, everything. 
and um, I think if we can start connecting with that more, you know, just stop stop eating the unhealthy stuff, eat stuff that's a natural, um, raw foods, um, fruits, and less, you know, less of the, the unhealthy stuff. Well, thank you so much, Toy Palamalu. Fop Saite La Lava. Hi, we're, I'm Mialani, and we are here with Tropical Jams. Right now, I have Sefa Aina and Tana Lepule. So, a few questions for you guys. Um, how difficult was it putting this event on? Uh, you know what? Actually, it, it, it surprisingly was, wasn't that difficult in the sense that all the people just jumped right in. Heinz Ward jumped on and, and just, you know, kicked it into to another level. Uh, the brothers from Tatal Brand, you know, they said, you know, we'll do your designs. So as a community, we came together beautifully. It, it was a little bit stressful because you know how our people are. Uh, you know, a lot of last minute stuff, but, it, but in the end, everybody just threw in their full heart and their full uh, mama and support behind our community. So I appreciate that. So um, for you, how do you think that, how do you think the outcome of this whole event turned out? I think it turned out beautiful. The weather is actually pretty awesome that it helps keep us nice and cool. Uh, of course, we're beautiful people, so this uh, makes up for the not so good weather. And uh, definitely, I mean, if you could just look around, I'm sure you'll have some shots. It's very beautiful. The kids are still moving. The parents are still here. Because you know, if the parents weren't happy, everybody would go home right now. Very good point. Um, for future plans, what are you guys planning on doing in the future? Well, we're hoping to go to Utah because we're, we're, we're trying to we're trying to be in the spaces where there's a lot of Pacific Islanders, and, we're, and we're, what, what we're also doing locally is we're look, working with a lot of the local, federally qualified health clinics. It's, it's one thing to create these services, but we actually have to get our people into the clinics. And so one of the things we're trying to do is, is help the clinics become more community friendly. So we're, we're thinking about you know asking them to do to hire more uh, Pacific Islander healthcare professionals. Um, we're just asking them to, to really be partners with our community. And so. Um, that, that's that's kind of in a nutshell what we're, we're looking to in the next few years. Very good. So I must ask, um, do you guys have any tips for our Polynesian community watching us out there? Well, definitely. You know, just as we are dedicated to our religion, uh, let's put that same effort and energy into taking care of ourselves. Uh, it's always you know more more leatua, but you know we also in order to be around, we have to take care of ourselves so that we can be around to take care of our others, like these right here. Well, thank you so much, Sefa Aina and Tana Lepule. Once again, you're watching Tropical Jams. Tropical Jams, what's up? Let's see here. Uh, I'm a firm believer that, you know, weight is not the issue. Uh, we are. You know, weight is just a byproduct of what our lives have become. It's a byproduct of uh, where we are in life and how far out of sync we are with ourselves. So uh, until you're willing to address what's really going on culturally, then you can't address the weight issue. So we got to figure out what about the culture of our, the dynamics of our family are making us obese. Where, 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 why do we, why is food a luxury? Why is it a, uh, it's about, you know, eating to live, not live to eat. So, so I must ask you, <laughs> yeah, Biggest Loser? Up? Biggest Loser, what's how, how has that changed you personally? It changed me in uh, every facet of my life. Uh, physically, mentally, uh, spiritually. And all, and all the, you, know, the you know, I was a uh, part of the show. I was a bouncer. You know, I got myself into security work. Everything that I did was size conducive. So it was like, oh, you're a big guy. Come and check out these for me. Now it's, um, you know, now what I do now, it's uh, I get to use the blessing of a platform that I've been given for the greater. You know, I'm currently a, a personal trainer for a Peace Loser Resort, Fitness Ridge. We have a location here in Malibu. Um, I'm, I do that. I'm there. I'm doing motivational speaking. All sorts of things that I have uh, just to give back to those who are fighting through the relative struggle. So. Well, thank you so much for taking this time. Yeah, no, 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 so no again, we're here with Chopper. Okay. All right, thank you.